Every time Levy Aaron entered the courtroom and the door to the cells opened, you could hear the other prisoners cursing at him. He kept his head down the whole time. Shouts of murderer and more that we can't say on the air still ringing in the courtroom, an echo of what his lawyer says is going on inside Aaron's head. I have some serious concerns about the defendant's mental state, his uh, cognitive abilities. He's indicated to me that he hears voices and there's some hallucinations involved as well. The lawyers asked the judge to put Aaron on a suicide watch. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly and Brooklyn DA Charles Hines confirmed what we first reported yesterday, that Aaron had allegedly confessed, saying he first suffocated the boy before dismembering him, and that earlier, Monday night, Aaron claims he drove the boy to a wedding at this catering hall in Muncie, upstate, at Therese Harna, manager Izzy Goldstein. I don't have nothing to say for anything about the police, but they were here and they had they took whatever they had to take. They came, they took information where they needed. They took, sir, I have surveillance, but they took whatever they had to take, and I can't go in nor more specifics. Even investigators who think they've seen everything are baffled by the suspect and the crime. But it was a horrific killing. Well, it's you know I've been around the this business for 40 years, you know, as a defense attorney as well as prosecutor. And I think the level of violence is not something uh, I can com compare with. So it is. It's, it's one of the more violent acts certainly I've been involved in. Commissioner Kelly says the suspect, Levy Aaron, has marks on him that indicate the boy may have fought back. There's some indications of scratches on Aaron's uh, arms and, and wrists. I, I think it's it's reasonable to say at this time, based on the marks on the uh, on the defendant here, that uh, there was some struggle.